What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Stranger Things Season 4 Episode 2 which is titled Vecna's Curse. So I'm so excited to jump into this. Another long episode. I mean all the episodes are long. It's just crazy to me that they're doing that. It, they're all like movie length. It's crazy. But I'm so excited because the way the last episode ended off was honestly one of my favorite scenes in the whole show. It might be my favorite scene in the whole show. I don't know. It's up there for sure. Because it was taking heavy inspiration from A Nightmare on Elm Street, obviously. Also a little bit of inspiration from stuff like It. But man, I just, I was obsessed with it. I thought it was really cool the way it was done. And the way she died, I forget the character's name, was it? it was Chrissy. And that was gruesome. Like this is dark, this is really horrific. There's a lot of good horror here already, which I'm so excited to see. This is... Easily one of my favorite shows of all time, and I mean, this season's already starting off incredibly strong. I would say that first episode is my favorite episode one out of the whole series. I think so. So let's see how episode two performs. Hopefully it's even better than the last one. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right into it. Oh shit. We about to see what Hopper's been up to? All the way in Russia. Oh. oh, it's showing us. It's showing us what he did. <laughs> oh. Oh. I mean, that's what we all assumed happened, obviously. We, no, we knew that happened, because how else was he going to get out of there? But, damn. Oh, by the way, I got my Freddy Krueger shirt on. Because, uh, I mean, last episode especially, <laughs> that thing at the end looks kind of like Freddy Krueger. And I think Robert England's in this. I I'm not 100% on that. I'm pretty sure he is, so. Oh, he just landed down there. Oh. So excited to see what he's up to. Everyone's going to blame Eddie. I wouldn't be surprised if they all think he killed her. I mean, she's the only one who saw Chrissy going into Eddie's place so you think Eddie called the cops I guess he did yeah a lot of cops well I mean yeah if he said she was murdered they probably should bring a lot of cops oh yes these cops <laughs> remember these guys I, I swear I, I don't even know her name I've never seen her before just calm down. oh so no Eddie just left Eddie booked it the uncle came home you know, her arms are all twisted and like cracked and stuff. Kind of reminds me of how all the kids in the lab uh, in, the, in the very beginning of the first episode, all the kids looked. I heard a lot about your sister. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay. Should we go? Yeah, this is kind of awkward, man. Yeah. So awkward. They have skating and games. Okay, that sounds awesome. Are your friends gonna meet us there? Friends? What what friends? You know. <laughs> 48 runs away. Yep. Let's go. This is life or death. Snap snap. Yes, sir. That dude was one of my favorite additions to the show, not gonna lie. Hawking student got murdered. What? Yeah, it's on every channel. Isn't that like his Girlfriend? He said he loved her as well. Hey, maybe Chrissy didn't stand you up after all. Hey, don't say that. Or are they gonna assume it was him, the boyfriend? I mean, I would assume it's Eddie. It's his house, and he just left. This guy's gonna come after Eddie for sure. For sure. Now, his name's not in the news yet or anything, but I guarantee you, Eddie is suspect number one right now. That's crazy. Eddie didn't do this. No way. No way. Well, we can't rule it out. Yes, we can. Dustin! You can't rule it out, but you shouldn't also assume that he did. I mean, no one was nice to us. No one except Eddie. Okay, well, I mean, they said the same shit about Ted Bundy. Yeah, he's like a, a super nice guy, but then he's murdering women on the weekend. You're saying mm. Eddie is like Ted Bundy. I mean, she's got a point, <laughs> but no. Something else happened. Oh shit, they didn't... They didn't show us this. Oh, well, she saw that. This does not look like something a human could have done either. Like, those 
you know, it was just the body was too crunched up. I don't know and what human's strong enough to do all that. For starters, who the hell sent this? A friend. Uh, a friend? Of Hop's? Hop is alive, no government? This <laughs> I love how he did it in a Russian accent. It's signed Enzo. So? So, there's only two people who knew about our date at Enzo's next Oh, okay. Whoever wrote this, Hop trusted enough to make him sign it Enzo. That makes sense. Let's indulge this fantasy for a moment. He's Houdini. He's a cat. <laughs> Nine lives. Whatever it is, he survives. What's he doing in Russia? He was captured. That's what. Making this all an elaborate ruse to capture you as well. Yeah, he's got a point. Oh, shit. Damn. He's been getting tortured there. Who are you work with? I told you. No one. He still feels like uh, Harrison Ford. I said that I said this in the first season. A lot of the cl like scenes, he just. She's wearing a Russian uniform. Does it even sound like Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones? Today for this <sighs> oh shit. Why do you keep lying? You're friends with Angela and Stacy, and you come to parties here? I have been to a party. For mom's work, that's not what you imply. I don't think Mike's gonna like that you're lying to him. She's trying to make it seem like she's doing all these fun things. It's really good acting. From Millie. Bro, Will's just been straight up depressed this whole season, I swear, man. Even last season, he was depressed. I mean, the man, the kid's been through probably the most out of anyone. I mean, he was stuck in the upside down for a whole damn season. Well, in season two, he was losing it. So yeah, he's just he's been having probably the hardest time out of anyone. Oh my god, guys, check it out. Who's that twig with her? But it seems like the snitch has a boyfriend. Oh no. Kind of feel bad for this dude. I do like that character so far, just because I was expecting him to be this like typical like bully, douchebag guy. But he, so far, he doesn't seem like that. He just seems like a jock. Freddy Krueger in the background. Well, like it's a video store; they got a lot of that stuff. Act casually and follow your lead. Got it. They're definitely not gonna allow anyone up there. Actually, I do know you. What? what You're Fred Benson. You killed that kid last year. What? That ugly scar on your face. It's from that crash. What the fuck is happening? It, it was an accident. An accident? You're a murderer as much as Everyone here knows it. This is the same thing that was happening to... This is the same thing that was happening to Chrissy. You right there? What? You said you were right. Yeah, same thing that was happening to Chrissy. They go out of it. Okay, what was that? I said <laughs> casual. Sorry. Yeah, he's not gonna say what was happening. He probably thinks he's going crazy. I do like how much Will cares though. It's almost it was like a it was like a brother to her at this point. I mean, she, you know, lives with him. So. Well, she hasn't been telling you everything. What are you talking about? She's lying to you. They're about to humiliate her. You think they're just gonna go Carrie style? They're gonna do some Carrie shit to her and she's just gonna start killing everyone? <laughs> her power's gonna come back? She's just... Nah, she obviously wouldn't be killing people, but... Really gonna call her a snitch? She literally said... She literally didn't tell on you, actually, before. If I was Mike, I would go in there right now. Mike, why are you just watching, bro? Come on now. Hey, hey, turn it off. Sorry, I can't hear you, dude. Hey, tell them nicely to turn it off isn't really gonna do much. Her power's gonna come back. 
Ah, uh, This is an awful group of people. There's got to be at least some people there who are not okay with this. That might be the worst bully this, this entire show has seen. Actually, I don't know. Was there worse ones? I don't know. Still crazy to think that Steve was the bully in season one, and he, he changed from that pretty quickly. Just some random telephone. Oh, this is Enzo. Ooh. Hello, Enzo. This is Joy. There you go. <laughs> I received your message, and I would like to make a reservation. But for reservation, you need to make deposit. Of course. <laughs> He's the wrong type of person, right? You know, he got lost. He thought Chrissy was just a part of his, his sick game. And chances are, he's still in the game. Meaning he's gonna kill again. But not if we can help it. Oh no. Poor Eddie. He ain't do nothing wrong. Actually, he kind of was trying to sell pretty hardcore drugs to a innocent woman, so I wouldn't say he was doing nothing wrong, but, you know. <laughs> as far as I can tell, you all have it figured out already. My nephew's a freak. He killed that girl. And not about right. Let me guess. Does he believe that? Let me tell your side of the story. Yeah, that's exactly what. Probably the best thing to say to him was. Is this kid gonna die next? This wasn't Eddie. The man who did this killed that poor girl. He's pure evil. You think you know who might have done this? You ever hear the name Victor Creel? I think Robert England plays Victor Creel. I think I've heard that, but I'm not sure. Killed his whole family. Kids and wife took their eyes. And the eyes were missing from Chrissy's parents, right? And Chrissy's eyes came out too, yeah. Maybe he broke out. Victor Creel is still alive? They locked him away in Penhurst Asylum. Like that, what's his name? The white mask. Kill the babysitters. Michael Myers. <laughs> he asked me, Victor's like that. He's a real boogeyman. Bro, this is so good. It's insane how good this is. He's gonna die. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, it's a funeral. He killed someone. Well, he didn't purposely kill someone, it seems. Murderer. Murderer. Car accident, I guess. Murderer. It really is like it in the way that like their biggest insecurities and the worst things they have to deal with and stuff just comes to haunt them. Musa, short the Calls him a Musa. Musa. Slain. For what? Literally, Musa translates to trash or garbage. It's like pig here. Often directed at cops. Cops? So he might be a cop? Or guards. Hmm. Yeah, he might be a guard. Welcome to your new home. So his name just happens to be Enzo, the same name as the place that they went to on that date. Maybe Hopper bribed him. Or his real name's not Enzo, and that's just the name that Hopper told him to use. That's possible. Angela. Oh shit! She gonna punch her? She gonna punch her? I want you to say sorry to me, and I want you to tell my boyfriend that it was just a joke. You gonna hurt us with your mean stare again? Sorry you can't cry to teacher today. You'll just have to cry to your daddy instead. This girl's doing a great job being the most annoying piece of shit I've ever heard in a movie or a show. When's her damn powers gonna come back? Oh shit. Oh, you could just maybe punch her. You don't have to use that. That could like kill her, you know? <laughs> Holy shit! I mean, I would have gone for a punch. She didn't have to do that. Bro, she needs, like, medical assistance right now. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit, hell. What did you do? What did you do? Alright, you don't have to yell that. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is so good. Hey, look over here. Someone was here. Maybe he heard us. Don't worry. Steve will get him with his oar. Uh, I know you think you're being funny, Henderson, but considering the fact that everyone in this room has nearly died about a hundred times, personally, I don't find it funny. In oh, is it Eddie? Yeah, it's Eddie. We're on your side. I swear on my mother, right, guys? Yes, yes, we swear. Yeah, on, on Dustin's mother. Yeah, Dustin's, Dustin's mother. <laughs> my, my friend from the car earlier, I, I can't find him. What do you mean you can't find I mean, him? He, he was there and then he was just gone. And Did you maybe see him leave with somebody? Or... Oh, that's whatever happened with his car accident that he got someone killed in. Her body just like lifted up into the air sounds crazy but after everything they've seen i would believe it you know how people say hawkins is cursed they're not way off there's another world i hope we see a lot of the upside down in this season Assuming this thing comes from the upside down. He's so terrifying though, I love it. I love how this thing looks. What do you want? I want you. <laughs> Look at that. Is this Robert England doing this voice? Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. He's just gonna. A curse. Yep. curse. Oh my god. <laughs> Love how gruesome this is. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yep, that's the upside down. And that's the house that we see in the teasers. Dude, that episode was amazing. Th this whole show is so good. I just... Oh, it's so good. And I really can't wait to watch the rest, but... I, don't, I don't, also don't want to shoot through it too fast. Um, I don't even want to like scroll down and look at the episode names, because sometimes when you see the images of the episodes, they kind of spoil a little bit, because I don't want to know anything about anything. But that was great. That was phenomenal. That was, I don't know if it was better than the first episode, but it was a pretty close. Uh, we had another death of uh, Fred and another character we knew very well, obviously, but just the way it was done, just like the first episode was really damn cool. Really damn gruesome. I kind of wish the deaths maybe were a little bit different. Like they weren't always just the bones snapping every time. Maybe it was a little bit different this time, like something else. Um, but it was still really cool. Really well done. Story is developing in a lot of different ways, pretty substantially. Just like in Stranger Things fashion, everything is kind of split off in the beginning. And is, I'm sure it's going to happen the same way this season because it always goes down this way. It's kind of a formula. It's a formula that works, though. It's not like it's a you know formula that gets repetitive. It, it, to me, it works. Where everything's kind of separate, there's own little stories, and then they all come together for the last couple episodes of the season, usually towards the end. Guarantee you it's going to be the same way. But the thing about this season that's a lot different than the other ones, all the stories so far, at least a lot of them, feel very separate. Like, obviously, there's connections, but some of them are almost, like, completely separate. Like, for example, what's going on with um, Joyce trying to get back Hopper? That's very separate to what's going on in Hawkins. And then you have what's going on with Eleven... In, in California that's obviously has nothing to do with what's going on in Hawkins as well. There's so many different stories. There's a couple more little stories going on in Hawkins. I think that's the, the main um, interesting part. But there's stuff going on other places too. And I absolutely love that, man. I love that. And I can't wait to see how it's going to come together. I can't wait to see what happens when it all comes together. The scene with Eleven doing what she did, I don't think that girl's going to die, but I do think that it is going to obviously get her into a lot of trouble. 
I don't think that was enough to kill her. That was just a little cut, but I, the blood was coming down fast. So like if she didn't get quick medical attention, that could have been something a little more serious. But I really did like how that was handled, that scene. And again, everything else was just, it's great. I think Stranger Things usually have better episodes in the later half of the season anyways. But so, you know, it's really a good thing if the first two episodes are starting off really strong. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as you can also get early access to these videos there. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you on my next one. Peace out.